furious dive or are they gonna go with everything else that they have yep heavy spin as well but now we go straight into the land of dawn between for the match between the philippines and the malaysians let's get straight into it momo chan as the junglers are just clearing as fast as possible setting the tone for what is possibly a very intense early game okay but yams trying to invade the jungle both of the teams actually both of the jungler they finally they succeed to get their own buff without any Aggressive invasion coming from both of the roamer here. Meanwhile, Imam Ooh. knows that actually Yam's waiting there. And there's no engagement coming from Philippine towards that. The little wanderer here. Meanwhile, Chiku guys prepare for that. One more level to get the level four from both of the bird jungler and moon. Try so hard to clear the minion as soon as possible. Especially against a Farsa, it's very difficult as well. Yep. When we're talking about rotations, it all comes down to wave pressure as well. And so far, it does seem like it is even. Both teams, both players are actually going aggressively in the bot side though here. It does look like Dapadap -dap gets very, Oof. very low. Not quite enough though, but Formis now has pressure. He can rotate, he can push, and definitely the members from the Philippines will be looking out for him. Yeah, agree. Now, I think if we talk about the line management here, we know how smart Philippines try to play a more objective here. With the passive playstyle coming from Philippines, I think it's going to be an advantage as well for Malaysia if they want to try to push, uh, force the team fight. Because Tiku, guys, he already has that heavy spin. He can go for the initiation anytime that he wants. And Momo, maybe, or even uh, Moon can try to follow up the heavy spin. Oh, trading here coming in from Soriano though, very aggressive, and Momo is out traded, but in the bottom side, Ooh. Del gets secured by Del Rosario, and that will be a small victory for the Philippines. No kills just yet, but the Federal Airstrike is being used in the bottom side. Formes is safe from all the pressure, but the Philippines showing some aggression right here, wanting to take control and take the initiative in the early game. It's interesting because Chiku, he didn't use that retribution on the third soul, so it will let the Philippine can secure the turtle objective right now and be, uh, let's see, Formes trying to chase Dapper up away. Meanwhile, it's not gonna be an, you know, a solid or maybe they don't want to force the, the skirmish at the bottom lane. Chico guys with the heavy spin used defensively. Numenon Glass Numen being charged up by Villa Luna. It does land onto Moon and that will be followed up by a stun. But everything else is being poured out. Ooh. Federer Airstrike will be able to Ooh. almost secure the kill. But the flicker is being used very defensively. And the Malaysians are on the lookout. It seems like the Philippines are not done just yet though. Del Rosario is walking up to the purple buff. Most of the ultimates from the side of the Philippines have been used right here. So it's a dangerous situation. The retribution comes in and it does seem like Chiku was able to secure its own buff. There was an intense exchange off the back of aggression of the Philippines yet again. Yeah, I just feel that now Philippines is going back into their, you know, old Philippines playstyle here. Playing a bit aggressive, trying to invade into the opening jungler. But they have to be careful because Del Rosario needs to find that passive. He needs to be a big guy to give more damage towards Malaysia. So it's not easy for Del Rosario as well. If he wants to really, really to make some initiation, all the Philippines fall ne really need to follow up very fast. For sure. I mean, right now, it does seem like the Philippines are aggressing and that is not what the Malaysians want. Right here in the late game with a Leslie, with a Farsa, that's a lot of damage they're facing. So the early game is where they're supposed to get a bit of an advantage. Maybe in the mid game, they're gonna ramp it up. In the bottom side though, it's non-stop action between four Maze and Dapadap, -Dap, just trading it out. The turtle is being contested though in the mid side. Moon and Iman is trading out skills. Yuning Overturn is being used and Ooh, Iman, Iman is taken very, very low. It won't be enough though as Dapadap -Dap oh. and Villa Luna makes a play. That will be what? the stun located onto Moon and that is first blood taken by Dap Dap coming in from the XP lane. It's totally a benefit for Phil Philippines because they get the turtle, they also got Moon in the mid lane, which is, is a bit questionable here for Malaysia because Chiku are not able to get the turtle objective here. Meanwhile, Del Rosario and also Villa Luna keep disturbing Malaysia, trying to invade the jungle as fast as possible because we know Actually, Chiku, he has to play a little bit 
brave. I, I think he has to, you know, do a do an aggressive uh, movement here since he uh, he has the heavy spin. And I just feel that Yams sometimes he's ready for the, the big team fight here. But Ooh. the problem is we didn't see it coming from Malaysia. Forme is outside the map, trying to buy some time. He gets taken out by Del Rosario though, and that will be a turret taken by Dapadap -Dap as well. The Malaysians, they're not getting enough steam in the early game. Right here, with that Akai pick, they are not able to secure any mutual objectives, and Imam will be the main target here, but he wings by wings as a way, and Dapadap -Dap comes in with the Electro Final Blow. Moon is now the main target. No Dapadap, -Dap, but again, no real action just yet. Both teams. Very disciplined, Ooh. but Dapper Dap, ooh, very bravely makes a play. Yin Yang overturn does not land, and non-stop action as Yums gets uh, gets stunned, and Soriano already having quite a bit of damage. It's gonna be even worse once the game gets longer into the late game. Yeah, but now Dapper Dap still looking for more and trying to do so. Phantom Slash towards a Malaysian team here. Meanwhile, this is what makes maybe all of the EXP laner very very comfortable with this spinner data because even though the half is been connect just not like Chiku did mm -hmm. Dapadap still have uh, still able to run away with the eye for an eye so there's no CC can connect to Dapadap uh, really easily he just can easily avoid it and it seems like Imam he is not using the feather airstrike to uh, he's not saving it as much as possible for the fights he has no problems using it to clear waves to get that pressure moon here will be late to the party as he gets zoned away by dapper -Dap, but the black dragon form from four mates is used to contest del rosario will secure the turtle and now a full fight breaks open as everyone is mixed up apart with each other four mates will be taken very very low but he is still sustaining the heavy spin has been already used though Gila luna in the front tanking some damage getting taken out but Soriano oh. takes a kill and Imam gets one as well. That is a 2 for one so far Ooh. and the fight is not over yet. Snipes from Soriano take some HP bars away from the side of the Malaysians and the three men available, they are going to go straight for the top turret. It's 2 for one trade coming from Philippines and now they even got more uh, turret objective in the top lane. Meanwhile, the ultimate snipe from Soriano is not enough to take down Moon. Ooh. Ooh, almost. Dapadap cancel that recall from Moon. Dapadap is so aggressive right now. Goes in no hesitation. Imam uses the feather airstrike, takes Momo very, very low. Vila Luna though is alone right here as a 1v1 is happening in the orange buff area. Del Rosario uses the Daytona's welcome. He will be able to secure the orange buff and Chico is not having a good time at all. Only a Sky Garden helmet so far. Yes, we did three turtle objectives for Philippines. They have a lead from the gold right now. It's 4k gold lead by Philippines and it's very, very a good start for Philippines in the early game until at least maybe if they keep, keep snowballing until the mid game here let or Zoriano got the item. I think it will be a game for Philippines. Ooh. Feather airstrike, the chunks moon down very, very low. Half HP with one or two bolts only. Chico also down to half HP before anything even happens. This kind of poke damage allows the Philippines to actually have a bit more control before the fight even breaks out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe Malaysia, they are waiting for something to happen, you know. Maybe they are keep, uh, they are trying to give some space for Momo to just keep farming until they are ready for the big team fight here. But until when? Oh. Because now Imam. <gasps> That's a combo for that airstrike with the snipes. Youngs will block with the bulk of the damage, but Villa Luna looks for an opportunity. Oh, no man on blast is being charged up. He goes in, he stuns Momo, but there's no follow up. Chico guys in the back denying a lot of follow up. Yin Yang overturn is being used, but that will be Villa Luna caught, pushed away back down under the turret of the Malaysians. Yums spots Dapper Dap. But Moon will be targeted with a Daytona's welcome. Oh. Del Rosario lands it. He gets stunned. He gets jumped on. That wow. is Del Rosario setting up for Dapper Dap. And the Philippines once again comes out on top as the Lord is actually spawning. That's really a good follow that coming from Dapper Dap. And now, Philippines, they are seems want to end this, end this game as soon as possible. They are trying to get all of the objectives they, they can. And the Lord has spawned in the minute number nine. And Forme is trying so hard to defend. But look at the Rose Soriano with the ultimate slam. And Forme is just gonna be the last bullet for Soriano. Imam picks up yet another kill. And Chiku gets chunked low again and again. Dapped up looking for the kill right now as Chiku is forced to retreat. Petrify is being used Chiku. as well. He is so low, but it might be too dangerous. Villa Luna though charges the Newman on Blast. It won't even be necessary as Dapped Dap will secure that kill on his own. That is two members down so far, and the Philippines will not waste any time at all. Del Rosario beating down on this Lord. 
Did you see the zoning that Philippines do just now in the bottom lane? Just make sure that Chiku will be able to get shut down. Meanwhile, the Feather Astro comes in again from Imam, trying to shoot all of the Malaysian people here in the mid lane. Meanwhile, we see a lot of snowballing moment here for Philippines, right, Arashi? This is mm. gonna be a dangerous situation for Malaysia if they are still being driven away by Philippines. They need a combo right here. If they go for pickoffs, the range from the Philippines right now, the better airstrike and the snipes from Soriano is definitely too far for them to contend with. They have to find a chance to catch these members before like this Moon gets bursted down. Better airstrike is used. The final bolt will not land. Flickered away by Moon. But that is Soriano just waiting for an opportunity. And they can just keep doing this again and again. All right, and now Philippines there just need to wait. The Lord is already marching down into the top lane. They are they want to again and again. You know, this is the the typical uh, play style coming from Philippines, right? They want to secure Ooh. another point kill, and for me, this is gonna be the the first target to get shattered down to be finished off in the jungle. Just like that, your EXP leaner, your tankiest member gets bursted down without even using a lot of resources from the Philippines in the bottom side. Dapadap relentlessly pushing down and look at Del Rosario. He is just standing up in the front. He doesn't even care. He's way too tanky to mind the damage coming in from the Malaysians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now Lord is already going in, trying Ooh. to push him, but the new Mimla setup is already being cancelled by Yams. And I think there's still one more. The Federation comes in from Mimong and the ultimate snipe is already still being able to survive from Yams. Oh, four mates though with the Petrify gets the shutdown as well. That is two members, three members down for mm -hmm. the side of the Philippines. What? The Malaysian strike back. It seems like they want some more, but the Philippines back away. They understand that the Malaysians have gained some momentum. Gold advantage swinging back. Only 6k right now with more members on the map. Yeah, it's really a good setup. Numian Blast actually being cancelled away by Yams using the Circling Eagle and also Formis comes in the perfect timing using the Petrify, connects to 3%. After that, he used the Fury Dice to, you know, get all the lifestyle that he wants to from Philippines. That is what they required. A big engage onto multiple people. Look at his items. It's not even a lot of damage, but when you follow up that kind of engage with a lot of damage, that's just all you need. Chico guys though, gets taken with a lot of damage as well. 1,600 true damage coming in from Soriano. At this point, that is way too much to be ignored. Yep, 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 and now Yam's trying to give him some information, looking uh, towards the jungle in the bottom lane. He's only find Luna, uh, Villa Luna, but now with the Rose Gold Meteor in the hands of the Padap, it will give him more silt, even though he has a low HP here, but he doesn't have to worry, because he will get extra silt, the additional silt to make him to stay alive. Eyes on the bottom lane right here, that was a close situation. Soriano trying to push the wave, but Moon is just waiting so, so patiently. He knows that eventually the Lord will be the play will be the target mm -hmm. for the Philippines. He is waiting for a great flank opportunity. If he can take Imam or Soriana out, that might just spell doom for the the, the, the Filipinos. But in the top side, Dapadap is just taking away so much pressure. And now they're using that macro pressure from Dapadap to get more advantage, more control in the Lord Pit. But no one knows where's Moon. Because Moon is still hiding inside the, bu the bush in the bottom lane here. And Philippines, they want to try mm. to bait Malaysia. They want to try to bait in the lower pit right now. They want to force the team fight with Malaysia. As Dapadap trying to make some distraction in the top lane. Moon is spending so much time in the bush here. If this pays off, this is some big brain 5,000 IQ play. Chico guys though, very tentatively moving around the lower pit. He knows their members. The uh -oh. conceal play is being the used conceal? though. Feather airstrike is being used. The stun from Villa Luna. The snipe coming in from Soriano. But that will be it. And look at Moon. He is on a mission. He is undercover. And the Malaysians know they have an opportunity here. They are moving in. Dapadap, I think he used the electric final blow. But look at Formace coming in. Oh, there's a union overturn being used by Moon, but it does not land. Soriano, oh, he's alive, but he's jumped on by Formace. It won't be enough though. Everyone else, it's Formace against the world. But, so, but Soriano is just snapping him down. That's a mega kill picked up as Del Rosario bullies away the Malaysians. And they are forced to back away. They are trying to find Zoriano who stay in the back line, but it failed. Malaysia, they use Moon and also for Mace, but it failed. Now, now it's gonna be 4 versus 5. Yams, the ultimate is already being used by Imam, and the immortality broke from Yams. 
another members down from Malaysia and it's gonna be a lord for Philippines. They were able to get a tower in the top side but that will be two members down and a lord taken by the Filipinos. Soriano at this point, 5-0 oh, and 4. But look at the items Momo-chan, that is disgusting damage. Well, 12k for Zoriano. He already got the Berserker for you for the critical. He got the attack speed from the Wind Talker and also the highest physical damage coming from Blood of Despair and a true damage coming from this Endless Battle. That is just so much trading. He does not have to sit still and dish out that kind of damage. He can just mm -hmm. occasionally poke down with the 1,500 true damage. And Ooh, now with the Lord coming ways. in, the Filipinos, they have arranged for the waves to come in at the right time. Four minutes, as you mentioned, Momo-chan looking for an opportunity. But for now, the Filipinos are gathering with the Lord, trying to get some advantage. They are still worried about the engaged potential for sure. Mm -hmm. But now, look at Dapadev, just pushing everyone back in. Feather Airstrike has been used to zone away, push back the Malaysians from their own tower. And will the Filipinos actually go for the end right here as the bottom final base turret gets taken out as well? From the looks of it, the Lord is still very much healthy. They can make a play, but they need to be very, very careful unless they get combo like the last time. Four Maze still on the side, pressuring, threatening to flank, wow. and that will ensure that the Filipinos will need to back away. How disciplined Philippines, their play style, they don't want to force the team fight, they don't want to force a skirmish inside the base of Malaysia. As long as they can secure the three best turrets, they let the super minion goes in. Another Feather Astro comes in from Imam, trying to give a lot of poke damage towards Chiku. And now Chiku needs to go get out from that jungle. Now with the wave in the bottom side, the Filipinos, they are just still very patient, very disciplined. They understand that they excel when they can control the tempo, when they can just poke around and deal damage from a very safe distance. So now knowing that the Malaysians, with their back to the base, they're just waiting and farming up a wow. storm. Blade of Despair and the Holy Crystal computed the Holy at the Crystal. same time. That long-range burst damage is just going to get worse and worse for the Malaysians. Oh my god, the life. Uh, the Philippines life, I think, is relying on this uh, Farsha and also Lisley, right? So with the item that they have, actually, they, it's enough for them to giving a lot of damage here towards Malaysia. So Malaysia, they have to be careful, especially they don't, they don't have, they, oh. they don't have any any answer how to go jumps into the backline, trying to shut out Ima in the first place. But Chiku trying to play with the five members of Philippines. They are chasing him away. The flicker is being used by Philaluna and another. 100 IQ play from Chiku. He's still Ooh, able to survive, but immortality. Though. He goes with the Petrify. He goes in for the engage, but it won't work. Look at Moon trying to get the burst damage down. It lands on two people, but it's not enough as Soriano takes out Moon. The Filipinos are on the hunt right now. Yums and Formis running away. Look at the HP bars drop. That will be Formis taken out. Yums is forced to back away and leave his Cormat behind. Chiku tries to make a play happen, but he won't be allowed to. Dapadap sends them home. Wow, wow, wow. Two members down from Malaysia. And now the Lord is free for Philippines. This is what I said before. They don't have any any they don't have any answer how to shut down Imam. Even though Chiku trying to buy a lot of time, but Numen the setup is open again by Villa Luna. Ooh. And look at the snipe damage that coming from Zoriano. It just <laughs> melted Chiku guys away. 2,300 true damage, and now Momo takes a lot of damage as Daffodup shoots him away. Yums, now is the main target. Detona's welcome, just take him out. He is going to be very low as the Immortal actually is popped up. Momo trying to do damage, but it's been blocked by the Bulwark on Villa Luna as Daffodup goes in with the Petrify. He is 1v2 right now, trying to make the plays happen. That's one Immortal pop, but the rest of the Philippines committing too hard actually as Formis comes in and punishes the way the charge is being used by Imam but he will eventually get taken out Soriano is still alive though he's still doing a lot of damage but barely enough the Philippines survive with all five members and end the game that is gonna be game number one going